I spent less than $15 at the Dollar Tree and picked up a full face of makeup. Hey everyone, I'm Wago Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. So if you're curious to see what I picked up, stick around. Also, if you wanna see the try on of these products, make sure that you are subscribed and that you click that bell icon so that you get notified when that video posts. All right, let me share with you everything I picked up in my haul. So let's get these first two items out of the way. I'm always looking for makeup wipes and the Dollar Tree, you can't beat it. The Dollar 25 price for a package of 25. These were new to me or I hadn't seen these specific brands or kind of scents. One is from the Spothecary and it is a vitamin C facial cleansing wipe. So I will be curious to see if these actually have like an orange scent. The other one is from Global Beauty Care and this one claims to be good for sensitive skin. All right, I'm gonna share all of the products in the order in which I normally apply my makeup. So here we have a primer and this is from Be Pure. This is the Essentially Ageless Blur Face Primer. Now I don't need to worry about blurring, but I did want to pick up a primer and I had never seen this before. All right, this next product is also from Be Pure and this is the Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer. This is also new to me or I haven't seen it at the Dollar Tree before. And unfortunately, unfortunately, um, this will be standing in not only as my concealer, but as my foundation. They had a BB cream that I really wanted. However, they only had it in the medium to dark shade. And then they had these little tiny things of foundation. Everything was way too dark. So this is in the shade fair and I figured I could just put it all over my face. All right, this next product is a blush also from Be Pure. And I'm noticing they must have a line because this also is called Essentially Ageless and this is their Luminizing Blush. I got it in the shade Poppy Pink. All right, this next product I was super excited to find. It is also from Be Pure and I'm noticing that the majority of these products are from that brand. This here is the Glow Up Contour. It is one of those liquid with the sponge tip similar to the Charlotte Tilbury and everyone else who duped it. So I'm excited to see if that one's good. And then also from Be Pure, I picked up the Glow Up Highlighter. Again, it has a sponge tip. So I'll be curious to see how good they are compared to the other brands that have that type of packaging. Now, when it came to eyeshadow, I was struggling a bit because they didn't have very many. And what they had was always from the brand LA Colors. I have done Dollar Tree of makeup looks before using LA Colors, and I was really trying just to find a different brand. There was one other brand, I forget what it was called, but they just had these little tiny quads that were all matte, and anyways, long story short, I did end up picking up a palette from LA Colors. This is the six color eyeshadow, which has crease proof colors, they claim and there's only one shimmer. That was the other issue. I was trying to find a palette that had a light shimmer. This was the best I could do. All right, this next product is a gel eyeliner from a brand called Ioni, and I could not find any other gel eyeliners, and I was about to give up, so luckily my eye caught this product here. So yay, and hopefully, wouldn't that be ironic if a Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty-five gel eyeliner actually stays on my top waterline. Ooh, fingers crossed that that's the case. Now, even though I have 18 million liquid eyeliners and like four open and going at the moment, of course, I still had to pick up one for the try on video. And they had the type that came in a little bottle with the, you know, twist up the lid and it has like a brush tip. I don't like those. Give me a pen. So this here is from LA Colors and it's called the Eye Marker. All right, for lips, I picked up not one, but two because you know, they're only $1.25. I couldn't decide which shade, so I picked up both. These are from Beauty Institution and they are the Bold and Bright Lipsticks. I got the shades Honey Nude and Sweet Pink I was worried, I don't know, you can never tell with the photos, 
I was worried this was gonna be too Barbie doll neon and this was gonna be too brown so I figured you know I could just combine the two and make my perfect shade let me know if you think that this packaging is screaming like dupe of I want to say Maybelline has some very similar packaging and if you know me you know I cannot just put on a lipstick I need myself a gloss so I picked up this gloss here which is from the same brand which is the beauty institution and this is the get ready to shine lip gloss which also in my opinion looks to be like a dupe of a Maybelline lip gloss so this was my haul in total there were 13 products which included the makeup wipes which you know is around $15 so probably more 16 but a really good deal in my opinion but I'll be curious to do the try on to see how well these products stack up so hopefully you'll get a notification when that video uploads all right I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by I really do appreciate it if you haven't done so by now I would love if you would subscribe for those who have thank you so much remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos and if you could do me a big favor clicking the thumbs up it really does help with my channel to grow all right thanks everyone